in this video i'm going to show you how to make a poster in powerpoint and by the end of this tutorial i'll show you how you can make a design like this or this or even this so if you like what you have seen and want to make your own poster keep watching having opened powerpoint the next thing i do is change the layout so i change it to blank because i don't want the text boxes here next i go over to design I click on slice size and I choose custom slice size. Dropping down the arrow under slice size 4, I choose A4 and I set it to portrait. Click on OK. Maximize. Alright, now I have my A4 canvas. The next thing I do is choose a background for my design. And there are two ways you can do this. First, you can insert a shape by going to insert shapes, choose a rectangular shape. Then you draw across the whole canvas like this. Make sure it fits well. Then you can choose whatever color you want like this. But in this very tutorial, I'm not going to use this method. So I take it off. Then I go back to design, format background. Under fill, it is set to solid. At the moment, the color is white. I drop down the arrow. Then from here, I can choose whichever color I want. I'm going to use this blue. You see that the background is filled without the shape because I need a solid background for my design. Maybe I can choose a different blue by going to more colors. Custom. I think I need something like this. Or maybe this. I think this will do for my design. I choose OK. Perfect. Next, I'm going to insert an image and I want to insert it inside a shape so i go over to insert and i insert a shape under flowchart i choose this particular shape that is card i draw it right here from here i click on shape fill then i go ahead and click on picture from a file i have my picture here selected then i click on insert and it is added next i add some text I go over to insert text box. I draw it right here. And I enter digital. I select the text box. And I'm going to go ahead and change the font. I'll go with area rounded empty bold. You can choose whatever font you want. And I'm going to increase the size to maybe 66. I move it up a bit. I change the text color so I click on font color right here then I go over to more colors and I'm going to go ahead and use this color awesome I duplicate the text box so I click on copy paste I move it down and it should be in line I change this to marketing I open it up so that it will be in one line. I want to reduce the size. It's not going to be the same size as digital. Like this. Meanwhile, the color is going to be white. So I drop down the arrow here. Change it to white. Next, I insert another text box. I draw it right here. Then I enter. I'll increase the size of the text. So I select it and I go over to size or maybe 32, I think 28 will do or I can enter 30, I think 30 is cool. Next I'm going to change the shape fill, so I go over to shape format, shape fill and I choose this color. The text color I go back to home. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to this blue. I'll change my text to initial caps. So I select it. Then I go over to change case. And I choose capitalize each word. Next, I insert another text box. It should be in line with the first one. Then I'll enter my address. I'll change the color to white. Maybe I increase the size to 20. I need another text here so I can duplicate this just select it copy paste then I move it right here I enter contact us 
I'll reduce the width. Next, I duplicate it, copy, paste, and I bring it down here. What I want to do is I want to align it to right. Similarly, I do the same thing for this one. Perfect. So I'll change the text here. I'll open this so that everything will fit in one line. I duplicate this again. I'll make the title here bold. Maybe I increase the size a bit. Perfect. So all my layout is done. The next thing I want to do is add a bit of decoration. So I go over to insert shapes. I choose oval and I'm going to draw a circle. To get a perfect circle, I hold down shift key on the keyboard and I can draw it to whichever size I want. I place it right here. I don't need the outline. So I go over to shape outline, no outline. The shape field, I'm going to use pattern. And this is where I can get it. Now, if, if you don't have this, let me close it up. And you want to get it, just right click on the shape. Then you choose format shape. You will see it right here. So we go ahead and choose pattern. And these are the various pattern styles we can use. For this demonstration, I'm going to use this. And then the blue color, that is for background. I'm going to go ahead and change it to this gray color. And then the background is going to be our blue color. So that will blend well with my background. And what I want to do is send it behind the image. Make sure it's still selected. Then I click on send backward. Similarly, I want to have the same shape right here. So I can duplicate it by selecting it, copy, paste, and I bring it right here. I just want it to affect the contact information. Still selected, I go to shape format, then I send it to back. This one is not going to have the pattern. So I go back to solid fill, then I go ahead and choose the yellow color I used. The next thing I do is add a portion for company logo. So I go over to insert text box. Then I draw it right here. Then I say company logo. I select the text box. I center everything. I change the color to this yellow. I make it bold and I'm going to apply shape outline like this. Maybe I can reduce it like this. I can duplicate it, go to home, copy, paste. I move it here. I align it to left. The text is going to be white. I don't need the shape outline. So I go to shape outline, no outline. Perfect. So this is the name itself and this is the logo. So I'll say company name instead of company logo. Next, I'm going to insert a circular shape like this a very tiny one the shape field is going to be this yellow the outline will also be this maybe i increase the size a bit it's very small next i'll duplicate it and i'm going to hold down Control plus shift keys on the keyboard click on it then i move it to the location i want like this i'll select the two shapes together like this and i move them at once down one more time awesome i'll select all of them i'll just highlight from here to select only that i can group them so that they become one object group group so i want to have a couple of it so I just hold down control and I can move it to whichever location I want to have a copy. I duplicate it, shift, control plus shift, then I move it to where I want. I want it to be in the middle of this, so I select it. 
and move it down a bit i'm going to add another variation of the whole design so i select the slide here Control plus d to duplicate and i'm going to change the background color for the shape i'll change it to solid fill i can leave it as the white color or better still i duplicate again then the shape i change it to this yellow and the designs right here i select it and i go over to shape fill shape fill i make it white the outline is also going to be white so whichever way you want it you can choose accordingly and don't worry about what has overflown right here as you can see on the slide it's not being shown so if you export it this is the exact design you are going to get if you watch closely there's an outline on the image we have here i don't need the outline so i select it then i go over to shape format shape outline i choose no outline similarly i do the same thing for the rest no outline no outline and now we are done let's take a look in the slideshow so that's it on how you can make a poster in powerpoint for more poster design ideas, make sure you stick around to watch any of these two videos on your screen right now. Keep watching and I'll see you inside any of the two videos.